G'day, I'm Charlie McGee, and I'm going to show you how to play this very short, abbreviated, and completely not like the original version of Django Reinhardt's Minor Swing. It's going to go like this. So, in previous videos, I've uh, gone through the, the chunking Manouche Jazz technique, which is, you know, pressing down and doing the, the muted down chunk, down chunk. So we're going to start with that same D minor 6 weird chord that we did uh, in the previous video. And the cool thing about this chord is, if you can't see it, it's just 4th fret, 5th fret, 5th fret, 5th fret. You can kind of slide it all over the place and it still sounds cool. So... Here it's a, a D minor six, but uh, you can slide it up or up or up or up, or up, and it's jazz, baby. Anyway, don't ask me what any of those chords are called, but they're minor six chords of some description. So that's one cool thing you can do just sitting on this chord doing the down chunk, down chunk, down chunk, down chunk. You can do a bit of a slide, which kind of involves putting your fingers down, you know, all your fingers in the same position down one fret and just doing a little upstroke and then sliding those fingers back up to the fifth fret. So it's like... And you can do that pretty fast. If you practice doing that fast, it's just a little bit of an embellishment. So you're kind of going like... Down, chunk, down, chunk, down, chunk, down, chunk. But that's not what I came here to tell you. So the beginning of this song is just the D minor 6 chord as a stab. So the start literally goes and then you change to this chord which is a G minor 6. So for those of you at home that is in fretting terms we go 0 so you're not putting your finger on any fret 2 put your finger on the second fret of the C string 0 again nothing on the next string 1 so on the A string, you're putting one finger on the first fret. So zero, two, zero, one. That is a G minor six. So you're going from the D minor six, picking the easiest chords here for you guys, down to the G minor six. So again, the beginning is just one muted, and then that repeats. Now, the, the changes might be a little bit quick, so, you know, just feel free to slow it down uh, if you like, kind of... So... And then the last chord is the second easiest chord in the universe, arguably the easiest, A7, which is one finger on the first fret of the C string. Hello. So that's going to sound like... And then you kind of launch into the song after a couple of that, uh, a couple of runs of those. Again, you form your minor six chord, and you can do this cool little embellishment where you slide it up four frets. So you just count one, two, three. Sorry, three frets. <laughs> and then you kind of do this like. So again, that's just sliding it down. It's sliding all over the place. You can just do. But in this case, we're going to go. So, so that's going from the 5th to the 8th to the 7th fret, that is. So from the... And then we just go into our chunking. So from there it's just chunk, 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 chunk. Change to the G, minor 6, chunk, chunk. Chunk, and then to the A7, chunk, 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 back to the D. 
So I'll do that again. That whole round is D, 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 And back to D. And then it repeats again. So stay on the D. D, two, three, four, and so on. So you just kind of repeat that section for the whole improvising jazzy bit. And you can scat or play your trumpet or your fiddle or whatever. Um, when it gets to the end, it's um, the head comes back in, which is... Again, down to the G. And to A. And that repeats again. And here you stop on the A. And then it goes. So that's a little little bit of a plucky thing. We haven't done any plucking yet. There's a few different ways. I do the kind of, you know, let your fingers do the walking pluck. So if you can get your two fingers on this bottom string here and go. Some people, you know, depending on the style, you can do three, or even, I can't do four very well, but in this case, it's going to be two fingers. So if you practice going in time, and over here, uh, you're going to be doing this little chromatic run-up. So that chromatic just means going from, you know, one fret to the next fret. Um, and it goes, little finger walkie on that one. And then moving down to the next string, so you can see I've got this note fretted here, the uh, A flat. And from there I just slide up, so it's kind of this little... And the very last chord of the song is your D minor 6. But you stretch your pinky up two frets to there, and you get this cool little jazz hands chord. So the very last bit is and you just practice that and get faster and faster. That's more or less it. That's not Django's version of Minor Swing, but it's my version, and hopefully it's a good little intro to the world of Manouche Jazz on a ukulele. Enjoy!